What's up guys? My name is Ben Can and today we're going to be doing a little video on my 1965 Mustang. So let's take a look. So the front end is probably the most modified area of my car. To start off with, we have a GT350 style hood and lower balance, both made out of fiberglass, which is actually significantly lighter. We have hood pins, which I put on like right away. Um, race car, right? But really, I just didn't like the whole mechanism up front. And then we have some hella headlights. Uh, nothing too crazy. I just put them on recently. So I have a built 289. Don't know too much about it. Um, previous owner did it back in like 1990s. He rebuilt it actually. Put in a mild cam, bored it out, put bigger pistons, an intake, four barrel carb. I wish I knew more about it. It's not like a race motor or anything but definitely not stock. So my car used to overheat pretty bad whenever I pushed it, like whenever I took it out to the cannons. And then I put in an aluminum radiator, I believe it's a three row from Champion It. It totally cooled it down. This car also has power steering, and this is actually from a 66 Mustang. Um, and then we have a dual bowl brake master cylinder in the back, must have safety. I also put in a Monte Carlo bar and a beefier export brace around there. I recently just rewired the whole car too with my grandpa in the summer. Um, it's a lot cleaner than what it was originally. So the previous owner put in the MSD ignition. Uh, the only questionable thing is in the box, he put the rev limiter, he set it to 7,000. And if you ever take this car up to 7,000, I'm, I'm pretty sure the engine would blow up. I'm not really a fan of the valve covers, so I'm thinking about putting something more period correct. So up front, I have a 15 by seven inch American racing wheel. Um, I have some white ovals made by Firestone, and these are actually bias ply, which are very sketchy, but they look sick. Got to run vintage tires. Not very performance oriented, but something about being period correct is just pretty sick. So I'm super happy I have disc brakes up front. Um, they're just four pistons, but they, they do stop the car. I mean, I don't have an insane amount of horsepower or anything. We're not going that fast. So the front end is lowered about two inches as well. We had to roll the fenders quite a lot, but they don't really rub anymore, but it was it definitely took some work to get these to fit. So just like the front of a 15 by seven inch American racing wheel, nothing crazy. Same fire stones, but these are actually the G70s. And then sadly drum brakes, but hopefully one day I could swap them out. So the rear end of my car has dropped about two inches. I did this with some Hotchkiss leaf springs. I was having wheel hop issues and these were on sale. So I, was, I got them and they fixed it. So that was pretty sick. Um, also it was cool. My fenders were ready rolled, which means my car was abused in the past, but that's sick, man. You gotta use your car. The rear end of my car is pretty much stock. The only thing I changed is the bumper. I had Dave Shutton weld the bolts from the inside and shave them from the outside. Because on the stock bumper, you can see the bolts and it's just ugly. And then I painted it because I'm not really a fan of chrome. So originally this car was automatic. It had some pretty high gears in the rear end. So I put in 380s and a posi. Really brought to life this car. I also have a sway bar in the back and in the front. So originally the whole interior was tan vinyl, which is pretty ugly. At least it wasn't red though. That would've been really bad. Full on Christmas car, red and green. But anyways, my um, dad and I swapped it all out with black vinyl and it came out pretty cool. Just a lot of spray paint and a lot of, a lot of hard work. But I, I think we finished it pretty fast. So I also installed a GT instrument panel. In my opinion, it looks better than the stock one. Um, I also put in a Moon Eyes tachometer. That looks cool. So the car was originally an automatic, so the previous owner put in a T10 transmission, four speed. My friend also forced me to get a white shift knob. He said if you have a four speed, you have to have a white shift knob. I also installed a rear metal firewall. I don't know how many of you guys are Mustang guys, but that's a must have. There's like a lot of reports of people getting rear ended and all the gas coming into the cabin and, and catching the driver on fire, which is full on barbecue, something you don't want. So if you have a Mustang, get one of those. We also have a little sound system going, two speakers in the kick panels, and then two in the back. They, they sound pretty decent, to be honest. I have an amp also in the trunk. They work the best when the car's off, then you could actually hear the bass and everything. The only other gauge I installed was a voltmeter. Just, just be safe. I also put in a vintage style, modern radio, but it, it works, nothing too crazy. It's I didn't want something tacky like a Pioneer, something some totally modern radio in the car. It just throws it off, you know? So my exhaust setup is basically long tube headers to an X-pipe to some Black Widow exhaust mufflers, which are the Venom 250s. And they end right where the rear seats are, which I mean, it's loud, but fuck it. <laughs> so a little backstory on this car is, I don't even know how I ended up with it. I think it goes back to seeing Jim Connor video with Ken Block with his Drift Mustang in downtown LA. Brought me into the idea of American Muscle because I never really thought of that as an option. So then eventually somehow my dad and I started looking on Craigslist and we went through tons of Mustangs for probably like two months or so. And then one day my dad texted me or sent me a link of this car 
and I saw it and I was like, what the hell? Like, I don't want a green car. It just looked ugly. There was like primer all on the rear fender and it just looked like a piece of shit. We checked it out. We went up there, met up with the guys in Running Springs. Um, crazy mountain road up to it. Uh, met them in a church parking lot. It was pitch black. My dad and I were just hanging out there and you could hear my car coming from blocks away. Right when I heard it, I was like, I gotta get this car. And then they pulled up and I was like, holy shit. Sat in it and I just I just knew I had to buy it. It was a great feeling. Uh, we didn't buy it that night. We came back the next day. Like, I think it was like nine grand we came with, but then we actually bought it for 8,500. For that first year we had it, I spent like every weekend with my dad and I just working on it, making it all perfect, getting rid of the primer and just fix a lot of small problems. Like we, I, like I found out, my, my dad's been working on cars for a long time, but I found out that like a small little problem can be it take hours to fix. Like you think something's gonna be simple, then it takes like all day. But Or maybe because we're amateurs, backyard mechanics, I don't know. But I mean, I've learned a lot since I had this car. All right, let's go take it for a spin. 